All right, today in its 2007 Honda Ridgeline, we're going to install part number 13385 from Kerr. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground, we're looking at a distance of 16 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper, we're looking at a distance of four inches. All right, now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Our first step is go ahead and lower the exhaust and get it out of our way to give us a little more working room and so we can slide the hitch into place. We'll go ahead and spray down the rubber hangers with some lubricant, then pry off the hangers, and then get the exhaust out of our way. Our next step is go ahead and clean out the existing threads that are in the frame and the bumper. There'll be three threaded holes on the frame on each side. There'll be two threaded holes on the bumper structure in the center. Once again, we'll spray down some lubricant and use a tube brush to clean out the threads. We'll be using part number 814092. Alright, once we have the threads cleaned out, we'll go ahead and use one of the hitch bolts to make sure we can run the bolts in. The older the vehicle is, the more time this will take to clean out the threads, and you may have to use a thread tap to help clean out the threads. With all the threaded holes cleaned out, we can go ahead and start installing the hitch. And when we install our hitch, it's a good idea to have an X set of hands to help hold it up while we install the hardware. Now when we install the hitch, we'll install the 12 millimeter bolts into the frame along with the matching conical tooth washers. We'll make sure the teeth on the conical tooth washers go up towards the hitch. We'll put one on each side to hold the hitch up, then we'll install the remaining fasteners. Now we'll leave those bolts loose so we can move the hitch around in order to get the two bolts to thread in to the bumper. Once all our hardware is installed, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolts. And then torque them down as specified in the instructions. Then we go ahead and reinstall our exhaust onto the hangers. Now when we reinstall the exhaust, the note there's a stud welded to the hitch. We'll go ahead and put our rubber hanger onto that, the new stud, and then put a flat washer and new lock washer behind it. This will position the rod from the muffler above the hitch. The muffler hanger going towards the front will install the same as before. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 13385 from Kurt on our 2007 Honda Ridgeline.